Hey everyone, John here from Sandhill Shooter. Today we are going to review another product that has been sent to me for testing. Uh, if you saw my Aegis Tactical Eyewear video, then you heard me say that it's the first time anybody has ever sent me anything to test. And I did get two different products. One of them was the uh, the shooting glasses or safety glasses from Aegis. Another one has been a, uh, a reflex sight. And uh, the name brand on this is Phyland. It's F-Y-L-A-N-D. And you can find these on Amazon.com. That's where I found it. I don't know where else uh, they are available. But it looks like this. We'll see if we can keep the glare out of it. It's got a glossy picture on it. Uh, it says right here, made in China. No secret there. Um, and again, just uh, a disclaimer. I did not pay for this product. This is not a paid endorsement however I'm going to uh, open this up and tell you what I think about it without having used it and then once I've got a chance to uh, actually shoot um, and use this reflex site then I will be giving you my honest opinion and it was understood before I received this uh, that my opinion would be a hundred percent honest and truthful no matter whether it's good or bad and I'm hoping to be super super objective. I've never used a reflex sight before and I don't have uh, any kind of AR type rifle in order to uh, to mount this on but I do have uh, just an old Savage uh, Model 29B pump action 22 rimfire and so that's got the uh, the 22 dovetail on it the the narrower dovetail so I did also pick up uh, an adapter to mount on top of that rifle that uh, converts it over to full-size Picatinny rail just so I could mount this up. So I'm not going to review the mount. Uh, those adapters seem like there was a lot of different uh, ones out there and I just picked the one that Amazon had recommended. It cost about 12 bucks. So the rail is going to be what it is but the main thing here is going to be this reflex sight. So let's open this up. Let's put that right over there. I have played with this a little bit so uh, they do include two batteries. These are just the little flat watch batteries, the CR2032 size. I did already take one out and put it into the site so that I could show this to you. It comes with a microfiber cleaning cloth so you can keep the, uh, the lens on it smudge free. And then it also comes with two different sized Allen wrenches. Uh, you can use this one to uh, mount the site on the rail. You also use the same Allen wrench to uh, adjust windage and elevation um, and then once you've got windage and elevation set you take the small allen wrench and uh, tighten down a set screw that holds those adjustments in place so we'll put those there we'll leave all that stuff right there and then in the box uh, and this was packed inside a plastic bag with a little uh, package of desiccant just to keep moisture uh, from from forming or condensing on the site. Nice foam lined uh, package here. All right, so this is our Phyland red and green dot reflex site. Um, looking at some specs here on the box, there is no magnification, it's just a one power uh, site, and the objective aperture is a 33 millimeter, and then field of view at 100 meters is 15.8 meters, which basically just says you can see through this this opening here. Oh look, there's my face. We don't want that. Let's turn it around. All right, so it is mirrored on the on the front side, uh, and then on the back side, as you can see, uh, it's just regular glass to look through. This little housing right here is where the uh, the reticle gets projected from up onto that lens. It's got a, uh, a machined aluminum body that feels pretty stout to me again this is my first experience with reflex sights so I don't know what I don't know uh, what I do know is it feels solid so I kind of like that uh, you've got your uh, windage adjustment right there you've got your elevation adjustment inside there that you can access with the allen wrenches and then once they are set uh, you use this screw yeah the screw that's down in there you take that small allen wrench and uh, and set that battery goes in here uh, this is advertised as being uh, 
waterproof uh, in the uh, instruction manual that came inside there. So uh, as long as that's tightened down, there's an O-ring to seal it. So uh, I wouldn't recommend probably uh, actually going underwater with the thing. Uh, if you're a Navy SEAL, I would hope that you've got something a lot uh, more expensive on your rifle than this. However, if you happen to get caught in a rainstorm uh, out at the range, then you don't have to panic if a little bit of moisture hits this. So that is very, very good. All right, on the back side, we've got our reticle adjustment knob here, and you just switch this back and forth. We've got four different reticles. One of them is just the little dot, and then we've got the dot within the circle. We've got regular crosshairs, and then the circle dot crosshair. I'm sure these all have technical names that I don't know, but let's see if we can get these to show up on camera. We can do red or green. You just turn the knob here. It is a rheostat. So if we're going to do the green, we just turn this up a little bit and we'll see if there we go. Now that's max brightness. Green isn't going to show up well against our green background. So if we keep turning it, it switches to off. And there's the little R for red. It's also painted red. Um, and then it projects the dot increasing in brightness, as you can see. And there's max brightness on the just the little dot. Now, if we switch this over to the next click, then you can see the... It's glaring a little bit. Let's back that down. There you go. The circle and the dot. One more click. And we've got, come on camera, there we go. We've got our crosshair. And then one last click brings us to circle dot crosshairs. That one's pretty cool. So whichever reticle you like, it will set for you. There's a nice bright one. Now that we've got that focused, we'll go back to the green and see if we can get the green to come into focus as well. There it is. So we've got those options for the reticle. And then bring it back around. And anytime it is on either the R or the G, then it is powered off. There is a, a tactile, not so much a click, but you can actually feel it. Uh, there's There's a little detent or something in the knob on each side so you can actually feel when you get it to power off you don't have to necessarily look at it uh, to make sure that the uh, that the reticle turned off and that you're saving some battery on the underside we've just got our standard uh, picatinny rail mount loosen the screws and mount it on the rail put this little screw in one of the cross slots and then lock it down. The instructions didn't give me any kind of uh, a torque measurement, so uh, just make sure that it's snug. Again, this isn't going to be uh, a long-range precision sniping tool anyway, um, but to just go out and have some fun uh, plinking with a 22, I can't think of a better use for this to just go out and test it. So this is the Filand red and green dot reflex sight, and I kind of like it so far. I'm, I'm really excited to get this mounted on the rifle and then go out and try it. It's been super, super hot here. It's no secret. I am not a little fella. And uh, when, when the temperature gets up above 90 degrees, I, uh, I hate going outside. I'm, I'm fearful that I might just turn into soap. Some of you might get that. So, uh, so it, I'm not sure when I'm going to get out there and get this tested, but I promise as soon as I can, I will uh, send some lead down range. We will use this reflex sight and see how easy it is to, uh, to get hits on target. Thank you for watching this and uh, be on the lookout for the follow-up video, letting, uh, letting you know what I think about it. My honest thoughts and opinions will be coming in that. In the meantime, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching this. Check us out Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock Central Time for 2A Tuesday. God bless you.